Undergraduates should come to the University of Arizona to do STEM education for a number of reasons. First, it's a beautiful campus, and the students can come here for a number of programs in science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and in the health fields. And beyond that, we have innovative teaching approaches in our classrooms with faculty that really are working with students to be student-centered in their education. And we have creative spaces for that teaching to take place. The University of Arizona has really gained a lot of recognition over the last couple of years for our efforts in um, high quality undergraduate education using uh, progressive uh, teaching approaches as well as our implementation of space to support those approaches. So we provide uh, hands-on experiences, research experiences for undergraduates, uh, we've got a full-time internship coordinator, we do a fabulous senior design experience where students work with real companies and a, a year-long design build um, experience. They're required to write uh, engineering reports. They're required to do probably 15 different presentations. When you come out of our program, uh, you're going to be able to practice engineering and then you're going to be able to go and do other really great things like maybe even start a business or go work in a research lab or go to law school or medical school. Students learn better and retain more when they're responsible for the learning. If they sit in a lecture, they veg out, they don't really understand what they're supposed to learn. But when they're involved in the classroom, working together on a problem that a faculty member has addressed, they begin to learn it in a deeper way. And the collaborative learning spaces that we've developed has really helped the faculty to perform this uh, collaborative learning and active learning in a way that they have not been able to do in these big lecture halls. So we've sort of decided on a set group of features that define our collaborative learning spaces. So we have movable, movable tables and chairs, we have uh, whiteboards, tabletop whiteboards, and we found that those are really effective to get students to collaborate with one another. We typically have some color in the rooms instead of just the stark white rooms. And so they're very inviting environments for the students to learn. So the beauty of the collaborative learning spaces for me is that we're able to more efficiently use the classroom time to actually do things that promote real learning. So how do they spend more time? Will they prepare before the class? And then during the class, we're actually working, actively engaged with the material, as opposed to just sitting there passively listening to some guy talk. An undergraduate STEM student would want to come here because they have the opportunity to do independent research for pay, for credit, or as part of a very nice fellowship program. We have the Undergraduate Biology Research Program that pays students to do research full-time in the summer and part-time during the school year. They can be involved in a Bravo program. This is a program for undergraduates to do biological research in an international lab where they work with their current mentor and go and do research abroad. Also, this, the engineering programs have internships that they help students get in um, companies like Raytheon or do projects here on campus. To do undergraduate research starting out as a freshman and continuing for three years so far, but I still have a year left, has been incredible. It's not only a way to see the textbook come alive or whatever it is you're learning about in class, become real and tangible, but it also gives you an insight into what a scientist is. Myself, along with a colleague of mine, Vicente Talancare, about eight years ago, started authoring a new general chemistry curriculum we call Chemical Thinking. And that course and that uh, curriculum is meant to shift the emphasis from sort of illustrating in a traditional sense what a chemist knows, but trying to have students realize that chemistry is a way of thinking. And it's a very powerful way of thinking. And so when we started to make that curricular change, we were also changing what we were doing with the students in the classroom, which was really matching up with what we were doing with the curriculum. If we wanted students to think about chemistry from a more critical thinking viewpoint, 
then we wanted to also have them do that thinking in the classroom. And we had large classrooms, so we started to ask students to engage in that thinking real time with us there as part of the uh, classroom experience. And that was really the start of active learning in the classroom in our chemistry courses. We have students who will tell us things like, you know, I'm really kind of shy and I don't tend to initiate collaborations, but in these kinds of classrooms, it just sort of happens quite naturally. And so we love to hear those kinds of things where it's not just the impact that, that the rooms are having during the class, but how it impacts them in other ways. The students who come into our program are going to get a innovative, cutting-edge, world-class experience in a general chemistry course that you really will not get anywhere else in the country. You just won't.